my name is Kalya. Today's topic is need of a data warehouse. That is the purpose of the data warehouse. In an organization, the day-to-day -day activities such as order received from the customer, signing the new customers, monitoring the operations and logging the complaints from the customers are recorded in the operational system. The main purpose of the operational system is to store the data that is for record keeping. Operation system is the place where we put the data, but we need a place to get the data and do an analysis. That place is called data warehouse. Today we are going to see the following topic that is purpose of the data warehouse, definition of the data warehouse, OLTP versus OLAP that is online transaction processing versus online analytical processing, then data warehousing architecture, dimensional modeling, star schema and ETL process. Introduction need of a data warehouse. The main purpose of the data warehouse in the overall data warehousing architecture is to integrate corporate data. That means it should contain single version of the truth for the entire organization. Not only in an organization, the data will be widespread throughout the organization in various departments. Each and every department will be running different applications in different technologies. So the data will be stored in different formats. But chances of multiple versions of truth will be there. But we need a single version of the truth. That means single centralized database which stores all organization data in a standard format. The amount of the data in the data warehouse is massive, that means huge volume of the data. Data is stored at high granular level of details, that means high granularity means more details about the data will be stored. Here I am having one picture, it shows the operational applications that which contains the company's database, various databases, customers, sales and products. And ETL, ETL is the extraction, transformation and loading of the source data into the data warehouse, that is the target. Interimly, we are having an area called staging area. Why we need the staging area means normally in an organization it is not feasible for a company to provide all data at the same time. We can expect the sales department to provide data at the end of the day, but we cannot expect the same thing from the finance department. Normally the reconciliation will be done only at the month end. So the data will be provided only at the month end. So we need a place to consolidate all these things, source data. From there we will apply the transformation business logic and then it will be moved into the data warehouse. So this is the brief picture about the how the data moves from operational applications to data warehouse. The definition of the data warehouse. There are two persons, one Mr. W. H. Inman and Ralph Kimball. These two pioneers laid down the principles of the data warehousing. Here we are going to see the definition given by Mr. W. H. Inman. He says, data warehouse is a subject oriented, integrated, time variant and non-volatile collection of data in support of management decisions. We, are we will see the detailed explanation of this definition. Subject oriented means what? Various subject areas of the organization is defined in the data model. That means customer activity policy and account. Integrated. Departments are running different applications already I told you. There will be various departments in the organization. Each will be running their own application which is developed in isolated mode by different persons using different technologies. So the data stored will be in different formats. There won't be any application consistency, encoding, naming convention, physical attributes, key structure and physical characteristics of the data. While doing the ETL, these inconsistencies should be removed and the quality data should be loaded in the data warehouse. Time variant. Normally 5 to 10 years of data is stored. Why we need to store uh, 5 to 10 years? We have to do the analysis, thorough analysis of the data to discover the hidden trends. For example, some customers might be paying regularly to the company for the amount owed by them, but they might not have paid some huge amount around 5 years back due to some oversight or some other reasons they might not have seen it. By doing this type of analysis we can detect these types of customers and we can rate these customers as high risk customers. 
task is non volatile that means updation of data does not occur in the data warehouse environment data warehouse is not only a data it gives us the information to do the analysis now we are going to see the difference between oltp versus olap oltp that means operation system maintains only current information olap maintains full history it is normalized it is denormalized structure oltp is a volatile that means updations will take place normally within a day two to three times or four times more than that will take place here updations never happens oltp used for reporting purpose OLTP is you cannot be used for reporting purpose and data warehouse is used for reporting purpose only. Since it is a normal structure here we need multiple joints. In data warehouse there is no need for a joint at all. It is not time variant in operation system. In the data warehouse is purely a time variant. Lastly, it is in third normal form that uh, entity relationship model. Here in data warehouse it is purely a dimensional model. We are going to see the other topics in the coming video. Thanks.